I didn't, I didn't say nothing. I'm listening to you. We not you. I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to stand on the patio and have a smoke. I just want to go and dance. Okay. Why couldn't I just do that? Oh, because the Bible talks about to love not the things of the world. When you say dancing, now certainly I've been been invited to places where there are dances, but the purpose of why you're going would be considered uh, unethical as a Christian, because. Is that Minister Boucher? I didn't know she could drop it like that. And look how that man is grinding her. Do you understand? The world, I may say, I know, I know time to save. I watched Tyana with, with that baby when he was a small little, little infant baby at Jennifer's house with the baby in her hand, went down to the floor, dropping it like it's hot. I saw you. And I said, Lord, help us today. I said, help of the day. I said, I got a sermon for you. I've yet to preach. <laughs> but I think, and I believe the word of God doesn't have to back me up. I'm just telling you what the word of God says. The very appearance of evil, we are to shun it. Shun it. So let's say the Volt 350 is having all grand. That's, that's dancing. It seems innocent, and there are sinners that are there. And certainly we go to places all the time where there are sinners. But to be in the midst of that crowd shows no separation. We are to shun the very appearance of evil. So... The Bible says we are in the light. We ought to walk in the light. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. So here you are just as grooving. And the person you're grooving with, he's, he's serving the devil. And here you are serving God. Well, none of y'all know each other, but we're having a good time. That's what makes it dangerous. But go ahead. When I used to go out, I didn't okay. dance with guys, though. So oh, that's even worse. Why is that worse? You dance with women? No, I didn't dance <laughs> with women. I danced by myself. Okay. And let me ask you a question. What did you get out of it? fun and uh, certainly there are many things that we can do that are fun but is it right I mean getting high is fun but it's not right many things we can do that are fun that when we're new creations in Christ should no longer bring us any pleasure for example when you're truly delivered and you're truly saved the things you used to take pleasure in you don't want them no more you may every now and then be tempted by it but to still have that desire shows that there's some growth that's needed in your heart. Because when you love him, you love the things he loves and you hate the things he hates. And that takes time as you grow in understanding him. For example, when I see people now and the things I used to do, I see it and I say, Lord, is, was that me? I see how vain it was. What a waste of time it was. All right, who had their hand up next? Okay, I just wanted to say because I used to, I never went to clubs, but I used to go to parties. And if you really just think about your mindset, well, I don't know. I, I know that my mindset was because I danced by myself a lot, but I knew who was watching me and I knew what they were thinking and I knew, you know what I'm saying? Like your mind, you like, yeah, I know I'm getting down and I know they're watching me and you get what I'm saying? All right. It's like uh, 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 being seductive. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, That's true. but I mean, even now, like I still like to dance, but I dance a different way, and I don't have to go to the club. I stay at home and my kids, and we turn on music and we dance. All right, and it's still fun. All right, <laughs> so, may I um, say this, please? I believe also another factor that's what makes it wrong is the the attire that goes with it, because the club you can't wear that, you know, if you're too homely looking. Of course, who wants? Because this is about being seen, and I've seen many Christian women when it's time to go to the club what they were at the club, they never were at church. So, so wait a minute now, that means that you can put on a safe coat and then take it off to do your thing? That's what I'm saying, that's the premise, the, 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 the foundation behind what makes it so dangerous. Okay, and then, um, really quickly too, um, I didn't realize until I got saved and the Lord actually delivered me from, I never had an evil, okay, anyway, um, that when you dance, when you give into that, it's a form of incantation. That's right. And evil spirits are attracted to that. And that's why we put on the mind frame that, oh, he's watching me, so let me drop it a little bit 
lower or let me grind this. You get what I'm trying to say? It's more of a, even if, you, if you're not even paying attention to people watching you, if you ever just think back to you, because I, I, now I look at young women dancing and I'm like, oh my God, like I was doing that. Like, and in my mind, I remember what I was thinking and how I was, and it wasn't until later where I, uh, you know, learned that evil spirits are, you know, they're taken changing. to that. The atmosphere changes, and then... Yeah. You, you, you've now entered into a realm that's so neutral to the point that it is demonic. Because, yes. uh, like, for example, Sizzlers is a neutral place I can go eat at. But when you invite certain philosophies and musics and incantations, that atmosphere is no longer neutral. It's now going into the demonic realm. Yes. I have passed by clubs, for example, I don't know if it's a club or not. What about that place in Lakewood called The Hop? Okay, I, I went by there and I said, I feel some demon spirits in here. And the church was having, not this church, was having a function there. I said, no, 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 I'll pass. I'm not even going in there because I don't want to be oppressed. It's like, it's like, would you go inside of a Mormon temple? I wouldn't unless I'm going to go preach to somebody. There are demon spirits that are present in which they see you dancing. They say, oh, we ain't afraid of this Christian. This Christian ain't going to stand for nothing because here you are with us. The, Give her the microphone right That's quick. what I was going to say, though. Like, a, okay, just, just hold, hold one second. Finish what were you saying? I was going to say, like, we went to a wedding one time, but our, your mind, my, I was saved, so my mind was different. So you get what I'm saying? When you surround yourself in a particular atmosphere, the club atmosphere is like, like how you know you see all the guys standing there waiting on who they going to, they spray their little stuff in the movie, you know, they waiting on their women. That's how evil spirits are. They're present there. They're waiting. They're lurking. And so... I'm saying the atmosphere, if you're going to a wedding, you're going to celebrate somebody getting married. You go into a club, 99% of the people in there, their mindset is, who am I get tonight and what are we going to do? And the music that they're playing is demonic. You get what I'm saying? But when you, it's just a different atmosphere. It's just a different atmosphere. And you might even go to a wedding and discern that is dark and demonic and say, okay, I got to get up out of here. That's because right. you're saved now. You get what I'm saying? That's right. Our I, minds are different. I wouldn't say that you couldn't, yeah, but the see, see, there is, uh, if I can explain this, there, there's a standard the Christian's going to have. Let's say, for example, when we have innocent dances, let's say the electric slide. Okay. Simple. Family reunion. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody having a good time. But as things progress, as music and DJs will, it sets the tone for a completely different spirit to enter. I have been at a wedding recently, and they put on uh, every day I'm hustling, every day, and they're like, <laughs> and I felt the spirits come in behind it, and then I saw people that I know to say, thank you, Jesus, start bumping like this. I said, wait a minute now, if the music can change you, who are you serving? You understand what I'm saying? So if a groove hits you, then most likely you're still in the groove of the world. See, when Christ came in my life, he destroyed the groove of the world. So now, if, let's say this is the Christian and this is the world, they're still connecting. But if I'm on a different scenario, hey, this, this groove ain't hitting me. I, I don't feel that music because I hear what's behind it. I hear the influence of the people's mindset totally shift. We started out with the electric slide. Now we're doing this, this bounce drop whatever they got all these I don't know the name of these dances and they're demonic and people are oh it's just innocent fun you think it's innocent fun and it's dangerous now, can a person have a DJ at the, at the wedding of course they can they can have music but when it starts opening the door to demonic spirits and people who are out there you're going to have uh, some, some blood on your hands for not standing setting the standard okay mm -hmm. now let me say something at Christ when he went to the wedding of Cana they danced Mm -hmm. They danced. They had a good time. But it was holy. holy. Mm -hmm. And that's it. It wasn't like we do, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. They had simple music that Israel would sing and chant that they could have a good time. But black people take dancing to a whole nother level <laughs> where it's just a freak, nut, coon, stupid case. <laughs> and it's just nasty and perverse at a wedding. And it's dangerous. Um, I just wanted to know, as Christians, okay, what can we do for fun? Lots of things you can do for fun. But when you're saved, what you call fun changes. Yeah. It changes. 
So if you still like being wild, the party girl, whoop, whoop, all of that oh. pride and <laughs> foolishness, you need to be renewed in the mind. Amen. When you're saved, people have a false premise that Christians are boring. I have a good time. I'm having, you got to come to my, I got the oldies on in my house. I'm playing my music. I take communion. You're not trying to hear me. And I have me a good time right in my house. I mean, if I want to go and go to the movies or whatever, I can go, go rent a movie or whatever. I have a good time. At least, ain't no complaints on my end. I'm, I, in fact, I, I'm, I'm more alive being saved because I realize that there's a trap. People say, well, you're always missing out. You're missing out. Yeah, I'm missing out on hell. I'm missing out on hell. Next question. Who had a question? Get, okay. Thank you.